For practice it, exercise 4.1 fraction sum, we need to write a method called fraction sum that accepts an integer parameter n and returns as a double the sum of the first n terms of the sequence. Basically, this would be this in math, the summation at 2n, i is equal to 1, and then we have our i down here. So we to start our method, we are going to have a public static. Now we know it's returning a double, so we're going to have a double and then the name which is fraction sum. After we have this, we need our parameter, which is going to be a integer. So we have int n, and then we have our brackets like this. Since we need to do this multiple times or n number of times, we can use a for loop. We will do four, and since we're dealing with doubles, we normally have an integer right here to start out. We usually have like int a is equal to zero. However, for this, we're gonna have int double a is equal to zero and then after this we're going to run it as long as a is less than n and then we're going to do an a plus plus so that we can eventually break out of our loop we're going to have our brackets around here like this to close off our for loop and now we can write inside of our for loop inside of our for loop we're going to need to add all of these together but we need to store this in a variable that we need to make outside of our for loop again since we're dealing with doubles it has to be a double so we'll do double and we'll call this sum and we will initialize it to zero that way we don't have anything messing it up before we add everything in. Then we know we have to return a double, which will just be sum. We're gonna return sum. So adding all this together, we know that we have to do sum plus equals, and then our math in here. We have the one over our i, so we're gonna do one divided by, and then we have to have something in here that's incrementing every single time, but we start at one. We know a is incrementing every single time, but it starts at zero. So to, com to use both of these, we can use a, so it starts at zero, but we'll use a plus one. That way we can get one above it. Doing all of this and we hit submit, we will pass three out of three tests. So this is the method for this exercise 4.1.